So uh, you guys know my name's Tom Reed, and uh, I met this gentleman down here, uh, Southwest Detroit, and he knew that I did interviews, and I asked him if he'd be interested, and he said, yeah, uh, your name, sir? My name is Dan Boyle. Dan Boyle. Yeah, maybe stand over here if you could a little bit. That damn traffic in the back. Yeah, Dan, absolutely. Dan, uh, how old are you? I am 49. Wow. I just turned 49 uh, oh, well. last month. Happy birthday. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, I upload these to YouTube. Do you cool with that? Yep, I'm okay. cool with that. And uh, right I have out of the my shoe. own YouTube channel. Oh, you do? Music. Yeah. You want to give the name of it so people can go look at it's it? It's called uh, Shannon Boyle. S H A N N O N Boyle, B O Y L E. Um, and then keyword pocket full of hope. And you'll get my uh, channel and you five channel. songs I have on there. Yeah. Wow, you'll be getting a lot more subscribers now. That'd be great. And I asked you, and I, you know, this has happened before, Scrapper John, you, uh, Jason. Yes. And what the fuck are you guys doing to keep all this hair in your head? I think you ought to be doing hair club for men commercials. Yeah, maybe. And, uh, you know, it should be a lot grayer than it is, too. And your barber is commenting on your hair. Yeah, all the different hairstyles. Because you got so much of it? Yeah, and it's thick. Yeah, yeah, you got lucky, wavy. man. Good for you. Yeah. So, uh... Do you have a substance abuse problem? Yes. Which one? Absolutely. Okay. Um, well, now it's heroin. Heroin. Yes. So what was uh, it? Fentanyl. Oh. Before heroin? Before heroin, it was crack. Okay. Um, you know, from the first time I took a drink when I was 11, uh, you know, I've been chasing a high ever since. And, the and, the uh, crack high? No, heroin? any high. Really? Yeah. So you first, uh, you first started out drinking at 11. Yeah, and then uh, we eat at like maybe 13 or 14, and you know, I, uh, I, you know, was uh, desperate for weed uh, through my middle school, high school years, mainly. Okay. Um, until I tried cocaine, and uh, powdered cocaine, when I was like 17, and then uh, shortly after that, crack cocaine, and for the next 12 years, I chased crack cocaine, and uh, you know, it caused me uh, a lot of nothing but problems. You know? um, I was homeless for the first time when I was 17, 18 years old, and uh, you know, and uh, regardless of the consequences, you know, I just keep going at it. And you know, I flatlined three times on the uh, opiates, and. Uh, you know, by the grace of God, I'm still here. And I've also been clean a few times, you know, for uh, a couple years. Have you? A uh, year and a half, you know. Uh, yeah, all my clean time total would probably be over five years, you know. How did you get clean? Um, well, I uh, went to detox and residential treatment, and then I followed up with the aftercare, like intensive outpatient stayed in uh, transitional housing you know I'm hoping um, I plan on going back to treatment shortly and I'd like a way to uh, keep in touch so we could do a follow-up interview when yeah, uh, hopefully. I'm clean yep. and that'd be great you know, what yeah. what type of traditional employment have you had like regular job well my uh, last employment I was working for a tree service and I love that kind of work I don't climb I work on the ground crew and uh, you know I love it you know at my age it's great workout it keeps me in shape and uh, get a tan yep. get paid well and uh, yeah you know I miss it uh, the way I ended up here is uh, my car got impounded um, because I was knotted out at uh, um, while I was driving at an intersection. And, uh, you know, I had just got it out of the impound two days before that for $290 for the same reason. And, uh, you know, um, when it got impounded two days later, um, you know, I was just too ashamed and embarrassed to go back to work and because my boss loaned me the money to get it out of the impound. And uh, so, too embarrassed to show my face to him, or, you know, even though he's he's been clean over 10 years, and, you know, he gets it, but still, you know, it's, yeah. Uh, have, have you been married? 
No, I've always been single. I've been half assed engaged a couple times, tried to have kids a couple times, and uh, you know, yeah. it wasn't meant to be. And you know, it's a good thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Your, fa your favorite movie? Uh, Pulp Fiction, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Favorite childhood memory? Um, well, when I was uh, 15, um, um, starting their opening game in the uh, Mickey Mantle Baseball League World Series in Waterbury, Connecticut. Team from uh, our team is from Plymouth, Kent. I'm from Plymouth, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. I used to go in on that airport there. Okay, Metatol. Yeah, Metatol. yeah. I I went up in one of those Cessnas with yeah. uh, the Boy Scouts. One of our kids' dads was a commercial pilot. He took us up in a airplane. We got our aviation merit badge and let us take the controls for a minute. You know the wheel and stuff. Uh, in the co-pilot seat, the uh, the pilot's um, wheel automatically overrides the uh, co-pilot. So if you're trying to, you know, yeah. do a nose dive or something, as soon as he loses his, it locks yours automatically locks. You know, so yeah. So uh, yeah. Now, are you homeless now? Yes. So where do you sleep? I sleep under uh, overpass. Okay. And now, how does a guy on the streets make money? I know how the girls work. I sit at the corner with a sign. Are you the guy with a hat sometimes? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I've seen you before. Though. Yes. Okay. With like the, uh, what do you call it? I can't even Mad remember. Hatter? Yeah, yeah. That's what actually, that's what my parents used to call me when I was a kid because I loved hats. I'm always hat. Oh, you did? Yeah. Now, your parents still around? Uh, my father passed away a few summers ago. My mother's still around, yes. Okay, now does she know you're down here? Uh, she doesn't know where I'm at. She knows I'm homeless. Um, she doesn't know where I'm at, though. Yeah. And brothers or sisters? I have two sisters and a half-brother. One of my sisters lives in uh, Bloomfield Hills. That's my older sister, who's a year older. My younger sister lives in Oxford, England. She's been there for 20 years. And what's she doing there in Oxford? She actually moved there to be a, an au pair, even though she had a good job here. She always liked uh, kids and, and watching kids. She just tried like five or six times to uh, um, have a kid where, uh, I forget what the in vitro, yeah, for those eight, and yeah. It didn't work. I mean, she's over 42. Oh, uh, okay. So. You keep in touch with any of your siblings? Uh, not really. Okay. You know, um, I should probably call my mom. But, um, so, do you, anyhow. Do you expect to get out of here someday? Oh, yeah, I'll be out of here, uh, hopefully by next week. Okay. You know, in treatment somewhere. Now, were you aware that you know I did these videos down here? Um, no, actually, not till today. What? I, I, yeah, I heard something oh, about okay. interviews yeah. before. Oh, okay, good. Somebody's like, "Oh, you just missed. You could have got an interview for ten dollars." And I'm like, "I thought it was for a job." You know? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I'm yeah. Like, a lot of people are just interviewing homeless people for a job, like for money. Like yeah. that's weird. You know. <laughs> Hey, well, this is a, a great interview. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yes, yeah, Tom.